In just hours, a man accused of killing his girlfriend is expected to face a judge. And that arrest comes weeks after Joyce e. Cartagena was found strangled with a zip tie. Now at noon, News 6 is Ezzie Castro explaining how Sanford police say the suspect tried to cover it up. Investigators say Joel Bauza tried to make it seem that his girlfriend had committed suicide, but an autopsy report revealed that wasn't the case at all. Sanford police arresting this man, 50-year-old Joel Bauza, accused of killing his girlfriend, Joyce Cartagena. The 49-year-old was found strangled with a zip tie in her own home in July. Investigators say Bauza tried to cover up the crime to make it look like a suicide, but an autopsy report said Cartagena's cause of death was manual strangulation and was ruled a homicide. News 6 spoke to her son last month. He described his mother as a ray of sunshine. I'm happy that we were able to have the funeral service and that I was able to put her to rest because that, that was that's kind of like a problem that I, I had and a lot of us had is just that I wanted to make sure that, you know, the funeral service happened as, as soon as possible so that we can all have our shared grief at that time. We also learned Cartagena moved to Florida from Puerto Rico and had worked at Seminole County Public Schools. As for Bauza, he's charged with first degree premeditated murder. Bauza is being held without bond. He is set to face a judge later this afternoon. Outside the Seminole County Jail, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.